Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be looking at a website that's really useful for anyone making browser extensions, whether that's for Chrome, Firefox, Edge, you know, just any of these platforms um, that you can distribute to. Now this site is called chromestats.com and it has some really interesting information on the different ways you can track how your um, extension is performing in the different web stores, whether that's, you know, Chrome or Firefox. So we're going to take a look through um, how you can track your extension and I spoke to the founder of the site um, to get a bit of background on why he made uh, Chrome Stats and how you can actually use it to find out interesting information for your extension. Um, there's a few other things that I found just sort of delving into the stats as well. So let's jump into the, the site and take a look. Okay, so here we are um, inside the Chrome Stats dashboard. Now this is what you get when you, when you log in. So um, they have different plans um, based on what you are, are looking for and I've been given a discount code if you want to uh, take a look to get 15% off. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description, but um, the main thing I wanna focus on is the actual information that you can get um, for your extension here compared to you know just within the web store itself. So if we just click on to extensions and just use um, any of the extensions here as an example, you can see just how many uh, there are and how much information you can actually find for your extensions. Let's just go and find one um, down here. Let's just go like a few pages in. So we can find one that we all might recognize. Here we got like one tab. So this is like an extension you can use to uh, reduce the amount of uh, load on your, on your Chrome. So from here you can find a lot of information about the extension. You can find out the rankings, um, you can track an extension as well. So what this basically does is sends you an email um, each day, each week, um, with how your extension is performing compared to the previous uh, previous day. So if I wanted to track that, I could just tap that, and that would then get added onto my uh, extensions that I'm tracking. You can find out the users, you can view the rating, you can see um, the trends as well. So you can see how an extension is performing over time. So, for example, this one, you can see it's been fairly consistent. Um, and these these blocks here is essentially whenever a new feature, a new uh, version, sorry, is, is released. So you can see there if the chart has changed based on when you've actually made a change. So this one is showing, you know, some, some changes based on this and the rating. So this is probably a, a better example here is when, you know, each version has come out. So they made a change here. The rating went up initially, then went down, then they increased to a new version and it's gone up since then. So you know, little sort of things you can start to uh, work out from this. Um, and something else that's, that's quite cool is you can compare an extension um, with another extension. So if I wanted to compare this to, uh, with like better one tab, I can do this and then find out different um, stats compared to each one. So you can get all of these uh, you know, stats here. But the area where this really comes useful is down here when it comes to how the extension appears in the web store. So you can see, you know, what type of uh, banners and um, promo uh, graphics are they are using? Do they have screenshots? Do they have a video? So you can see both these don't have a video. So maybe if you're one of these extensions, you wanted to try and boost your um, ranking in the, in the store, you could add a video. Um, you have a summary here. So you can really look through and see what are they doing differently? So this one's much shorter compared to this one, um, but then this extension is a lot newer as well. So you know, it's more competition when it comes to actually growing um, in the store. They support a lot more languages, um, and you can see the permissions as well, which is which is quite a big one. So you can see what that is requesting compared to the other extension. So yeah, it provides a lot of interesting information here for you to for you to go through. Specifically, if you know what extensions you want to. Um, compare yours against as well. So if there's a particular extension that you are tracking against and you want to try and you know, boost up your, your position when people are searching for different keywords, then this could be really useful. Um, another area this, is, this can be useful as well is to find out ideas for extensions that you actually want to build. So if you go up to the uh, search at the top and then we're going to go into advanced mode, add some conditions. So what we want to do here is try and find out um, which extensions that haven't been updated for, let's say, more than two years and are on manifest version three, or manifest version two, sorry, 
and we can try and find out where there are potential gaps. So here we can find all extensions that haven't been updated um, since uh, 2020. So if we actually change this to be at the end of the year, it's a bit fairer. Um, and then we want to order this by, let's say, by rating or rating value. So we can see now these are all the five star extensions that um, haven't been updated for like two years and are still on manifest version two. But what we might want to do also is add another condition for the amount of users. So from here, we can now look at these and see, okay, there's a lot of wallpaper extensions. Um, actually, that's one other thing we need to add as well as extension. So we just want to do that. And now we can make sure that we're actually getting extensions rather than themes and you know, apps, etc. So now we can look at this and break it down by different things. We can see what's the most amount of users we have here. So Chrome Remote Desktop, uh, Colorzilla, Google Mail Checker. There's a lot of these extensions in here that potentially need to be updated. Otherwise, you know, when it comes around to June now, which is a cutoff point for Manifest version three, they might risk, you know, not being shown. And there's a lot of information here. Um, I could spend ages going through this, uh, but I really recommend um, creating an account and taking a look, uh, especially for your own extensions and making sure that you're tracking um, your performance because it does give a lot of interesting insights in here as well. So another page that I found particularly interesting is the uh, chromestats.com forward slash insights. Now from here, you can find out some really interesting information on extensions in general. So for example, down here, um, it, you could see that of all extensions, um, and when it comes to actual users, the vast majority um, have less than a thousand active users, which I found really surprising. So 85% of all extensions have less than a thousand active users. So there's a few things you can do. If you can get to that point, then you've broken through this, this barrier for extensions and you can start to really grow. So you can see here, um, you know, it's broken down by the different types of, uh, of growth levels. So, you know, either hidden or zeros, like 12,000, one to nine, like less than 10 users, basically 55,000, even more if you add in these, um, under 100, 46,000, less than 1,000, another 31,000, and then there's much smaller amounts here as it gets up to like, you know, over a million. And I, I bet if we went on to these, say 10 million plus, we'd be able to recognize um, almost all of these extensions. Yeah, they're pretty much all of Google's extensions, um, Grammarly, you know, well-known extensions in here, which is, is really interesting to see how this is um, broken down. Now you can also see, if we scroll further down, the amount of ratings. So most extensions don't have any uh, ratings at all. Now this could be, um, you know, really old extensions that haven't been updated yet. So uh, like I say, when Manifest version three comes around, this will clean up a lot of a lot of these old extensions as well. Um, and one more thing down here that I found quite interesting, yeah, it was this part here. So the actual age of extensions and how long it's been since they've last been updated, like we were sort of looking at a moment ago in that advanced search, you can see here, the vast majority of extensions haven't been updated in, a, in, in two years, which is, uh, is crazy. So there's a lot of interesting information here, you know, even uh, permissions, you can break down by what types of permissions extensions are looking for, what are the most popular ones, um, languages, and the different collections. And you can even see how um, you know extensions are looking for rankings in the web store as well. Now it's not just Chrome, like I say, uh, that is supported here. There's also uh, Edge and Firefox. So if we go across here, the URL will change to firefox.chromestacks, uh, and you can find more information here on how extensions are performing on Firefox. So if you want to make sure that you're growing on each store, this can be really useful to uh, to delve into this and find out what you can do to improve your ranking there, or if you should be focusing on one store versus another. So there's a lot of um, ways you can break that down as well. But yeah, I just recommend taking a look at the site, going through it, um, especially if you are looking for an idea of an extension to create, this could be a really useful way to sort of come up with some ideas and see where potential gaps are um, in the in the web store. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this uh, useful in some way and it's something that you might want to take a look at. Um, I'll add a link in the description um, with the, the coupon code, the founder uh, 
kindly uh, provided. But yeah, this video isn't sponsored or anything. I just found this quite interesting and I think it could be useful for, for everyone watching. I right, one more thing as well. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. That's my next goal I'm looking for. So if you're not subscribed yet, please, please do uh, subscribe. And if you've got any questions about this, please do uh, leave a comment on this video and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. But I think it's, yeah, there's a lot of interesting information here to, uh, to go through. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.